Is this what I think it is? Is that your conscience talking to you? Yes, it is, guys. This is the new Claris, forget the name of it, XT2CR 1600 lumen single 18650 cell light. I picked one of these up today. It was actually the, at least I was told, it was the last one at the store today. I, it's been a long time since I've been really hyped about a light, but I'm really excited about this light. I think this light is freaking awesome. The user interface is awesome. We'll go over all that in this short little unboxing video. Uh, I don't really care too much for unboxing videos, guys. For me, I, I feel like it's a spoiler, kind of, for when I actually buy the product in real life. It's kind of like giving the end of a movie away. But um, with this light being so new, I felt that I kind of had to, and, I'm, and hopefully a lot of you guys are going to be curious as to um, what the light looks like, what's in the box. Um, so we'll dive right into it. Uh, starting off with the box here, it's important to note that the battery is included. Um, at least on this run of lights, uh, it comes, I think, with a 3600 milliamp light uh or i'm sorry cell which is awesome that's about as maxed out as you get uh if i turn the, the box over to its left side here shows you a 1600 ansi lumens which is awesome uh 240 meter beam distance 200 hour run time in its lowest setting which is 10 lumens on this light uh it shows you the intensity there just over 14,000. of course it's the impact resistance of one meter and what you've come to uh, expect with the ipx8 two meter uh complete submersion ratings for water here on the back side of the box, we have all the specs here. So it shows you it's a SOS mode, strobe mode, low, medium, high, and turbo. It shows you what the lumens are in those modes with the run times as well. So that is pretty cool. I think this is also pretty standard, guys. If you guys are into lights and you all buy lights often um, or even research them, you're going to get used to seeing that chart on all your lights here. And then, of course, on the final side here, it says compact, super bright, dual switch, rechargeable, tactable flashlight. This light is also USB rechargeable, which is awesome. So getting right into it now. And yes, I've opened up this light already because I couldn't wait. I'm just too impatient and I had to play with it. And I've been playing with it for hours. I don't even know how much battery's left, to be honest. Um, but so here we go. Open up the box. There is nothing in there. You've already seen every side of the box itself. I'm going to set this aside for the time being. And you get... The light, of course. Now, I hate it when people show the light last. They seem to show the sheath and all the uncool stuff first, but for some strange reason, I feel compelled to do the same thing because I want to save the best for last. So it comes with this sheath here. Uh, pretty nice sheath. In fact, let's see, I haven't even seen what's inside yet. You get a cool little black and white Claris lanyard right here. Pretty nice. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, nice. I didn't even know it came with a recharger, guys. So that was real. The, 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 what you just heard in my voice was real. I just discovered that there is a recharger in itself. It actually says Claris on it. That is really, really cool. Really handy. I'm going to set that on the box over here. Um, you got a spare O-ring as well in the bag. And then the light, of course. And real quick before we go into it, I just want to see what it looks like myself in the lanyard. Maybe it goes face down. Cool little sheath for it, belt loop here, and it also has Velcro, so you can go through it or behind it, if that's what you kind of like. A little loop on the back, pretty cool, it is plastic, just a heads up. So we'll put this aside now. Um, the last thing that came in the boxing was the instruction manual. It is in both English and Chinese. So, sorry for the dogs barking in the background. It's so nice here in Georgia that I'd, I wanted to do this video outside. Um, finally, it came with this little Chinese tag says Claris on it. Uh, please pull and remove battery compartment tabs before using flashlight. It's a good thing it says that because once you, the, the cell automatically comes in the light. Once you unscrew the tail cap, you have this thin little piece of plastic that rests on it that you'll have to pull out so that the uh, terminals will actually connect and you'll get some juice there. All right, so now that we've seen what's in the box, I want to go over the user interface with you. First of all, I think this light looks awesome. Um, it's got a crenellated bezel. It's got a, a decent pocket clip. It's not very long and unfortunately it's not very deep. But for me, this would never really be an EDC light uh, for me. Um, it's, got some, it's got some decent knurling on the side here and you can see on the side here what I'm showing you. There's the name of the light there. The pocket clip as I turn it. You have your little LED indicator here. That's gonna be important in the future and I'll show you why. And then you've got your rubber seal on the port here for your USB charge. So plug that, bam, keeps it IPX8 once it's shut. Just make sure it's sealed. Uh, sometimes one side wants to go in before the others, uh, at least since I've been pulling that off. 
Um, and then in typical Claris fashion, um, the user interface is just awesome, guys. You have two different buttons. They've actually put a little metal flap over your instant strobe mode. The cool thing about this slide is it's also programmable. So um, we're gonna go over that real quick. I think you guys are really gonna like this. It's, I mean, my little brother is a genius and he looked at the manual and it took a while to figure out just how to program this thing. But from what we figured out so far, there are only two different modes. They call it the tactical mode, which means you have your strobe access immediately when you hit the back, uh, the back switch here. And then your turbo mode, which is the full 1600 lumens with the main button. Um, and then you have what they call an outdoor mode, which converts the strobe button to a low mode, which is 10 lumens. And you, it also gives you the function of an SOS mode, which is only capable, uh, you're only capable of putting SOS out in the second outdoor function mode. So I'm gonna show you guys here just real quick. I'm gonna cycle through the modes. If I turn it on, it is always on turbo high, okay? On turbo max. Then if I, if I use the mode switch, which in, if the light was off is just your secondary switch, that takes you through the modes. So you'll see here, I'm cycling through the modes and there's only those three. You have uh, high, medium, and low. You've got the turbo mode. And then with the light off, you can immediately access the strobe mode if you just press the back, uh, the back secondary switch. Now, if you hold, and I'm, I'm wondering if I should do this or not on the camera, because in order to switch to the outdoor mode, you it's strange, but you have to press the strobe, which will literally keep the strobe mode on for 10 seconds. And I'm talking about 10 Mississippi seconds. These seconds last for forever, and you're lo literally looking um, into the strobe during that time. And then this little LED Claris indicator on the side will go from red to green. It will start flashing. In fact, I'm just going to do it. In all seriousness, if you guys are epileptic or something, don't watch the screen for the next 10 seconds because this mode's going to be on. But if we can zoom into this LED light real quick, I'm going to show you what happens here. So I am on strobe. You'll see that it's lit up red if you can catch that in the camera. I'm going to hold it. It's going to black out. Strobe is still going. Give it a few more seconds. Then you're going to see it go between red and green. During that time, while I'm still holding that secondary switch, I have to press the main switch. And then I can let go of everything. Then I can filter through the different modes. If I switch to anything outside of max and then repress the main compartment button, now my rear tail cap is, moon, is the 10 lumen mode. It's no longer, it is no longer a strobe. It is just a momentary on for its lowest setting. Now that it's momentary on for its lowest setting, with the light on, if I press and hold the mode switch for three seconds, I'm an SOS. It's gonna do it again. So that's only possible, that only happens if you actually switch to the outdoor mode. Otherwise, in the tactical mode, I can't access SOS at all. Um, I hate that mode, so what I'm gonna do, I don't, I don't prefer the outdoor mode. I'm just gonna run through the, uh, the modes real quick again. There, it's red, it just blacked out the indicator. I'm still holding down the secondary switch. You'll see here that it's red and green. I'm gonna double hit here. It's in high mode. I'm gonna turn the light off because that's where I want it. And now I have back to my strobe instantly with the secondary light, uh, with the secondary switch, and then to my high. Now in order to get through, through my low modes again, I'm gonna have to turn the light on with the primary and then just filter through like that. So there is no way, unless you're in the outdoor mode, to access your low mode instantly. There's just not. Um, at any point in time, even when you've accessed even when you've switched over to outdoor mode, the main switch will always put you in turbo mode first. Always, no matter what. There is no mode memory on this light. It goes directly to high with the big access switch. You can only toggle through your different outputs with the secondary switch. Um, anyways, we're gonna do some beam shots in a second video. Later tonight, once it gets really dark outside, I'm gonna post a video for some beam shots as well. Um, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed this light, man. I hope you liked this video. I think this is an awesome light. To me, this is like a war light. This is something that you want a lot of light out there for. It's probably, dare I say, the most tactical light on the market right now. And the user interface is fantastic. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to post that beam shot video uh, here in just a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we have other lights on the channel as well. For, for, feel free to check those out. And if there are any other lights that you guys are interested in, check out our channel. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. God bless.